welcome back, back, back for our Thursday night Eon Indie Magazine featured artists of the month. And for those of you who are brand new to our show, who we do stream music every single solitary day. But Thursdays are a very day. special, special show where we but feature the artists that are in the magazine known as Ion Indie Magazine and our hats are off to them. I always tell you they work so very very hard and they they work so very very hard and they they don't actually uh, get any money or anything for this. Um, it, it's just out of the goodness of their own hearts that they do this for the artists and it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thing that they do. So tonight, we're going to introduce you to some people and some sounds that you probably haven't heard. Or if you have heard them, gosh, let other people know about them also, because we think they're just fantastic. You'll get a diverse range of music always from Ian Indie Magazine. And check them out at www.eonindiemagazine.com. And heck, throw them a donation if you like the music. They can always use it, let me tell you. Okay, we're going to start tonight out with a band that is called Conversion Delay. Now, they're an alternate rock group based out of Columbus, Ohio, and formed as a two-piece way back in 2012 by Nathaniel Grouch. And I'm not that great with names, so if I get your name wrong, please forgive me. And J.D. Johnston. Now, early performances utilized live looping keyboard voices and several guitars. Recording for their first album, Stepping Stone, began way back in 2012 at Amish Electric Chair Studios in Athens, Ohio. And it was released for digital purchase on March 26 of 2013. So you might have seen that. Now, songwriting continued as the band expanded into a three-piece with the addition of a drummer, Nick Allen. Nearly two years in the making, the second full-length release, Face in the Crowd, was released November of 2014. Now, as of November 2016, uh, tracking for their upcoming conversion delay release had been completed and we now share a song that is called of all things and i love it and there they are gray imagination so folks sit back enjoy and take a listen to conversion delay great imagination yeah
inversiondelay.com. Check out their website. Um, Punky was just here. If you haven't been here before with us, uh, Punky's our radio diva cat. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, she loves music and always hangs around every time we play it. Now, I want you to hear another bit of music from this wonderful, wonderful group. And this one is called Strangers. Here you go. song that they did had a little bit of Jim Morrison in it you know if you think way back when and I also liked uh, especially in their first song that we shared with your gray imagination how their tempo changed and it wasn't expected but it was done extremely well that's how you can tell good musicians and I also wanted to mention that they did add another member of the band guitarist Sebastian Olsen so we got four guys here now 
and what is sound. I want you to check them out, oh gosh, Reverb Nation on their website, uh, Facebook for certain, uh, Twitter, all these bands. And uh, tell them what you think. Okay, we're going to move along right now. And I'm going to introduce you to a band called Sugar Lime Blue. Okay, what is there to experience in Sugar Lime Blue? What do you experience? Well, essentially, it's vibrations of air manipulated by the voices and instruments of the musicians. And, gosh, they're interpret they interpret it uh, through the ears of living beings and transform into their brains to the sounds that soothe us, get us excited, spark our emotions, and even get us up to dance. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hard thing to do for some, but I bet you. <laughs> well, Sugar Lime Blue is a real band where in the musicians are listening to one another. And they're trying to create something new in the movement. So in this timeline, Sugar Lime Blues had its beginnings back in 1999 when Dave and Ashley Beth first met in Texas. Now, Dave's originally from Maine, while Ashley is from Kentucky. So they fell in love, got married, and started playing music together. Aw, isn't that sweet? They also created a video for the song Move That Earth, which we're going to play with their cell phones at Best Farm. Now, if you'd like music to be more than just the background noise in your life, check out Sugar Lime Blue. You know, the band feel, they just feed off the energy I have to say of their fans and it, 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 they put their hearts into every single show as do most of these musicians now we have only they uh, said that they we all only have a short time on the planet and making the moment inclusive to all that hear and enjoy the sound is what it's all about for them so playing music is the ultimate group expression in creativity and Sugar Lime Blue is a family bound by love and music with the goal to be able to spread that music and love around. Isn't that wonderful? Ooh, I love it. So for your musical entertainment right now, we introduce you to Sugar Lime Blue and this is called Move That Earth.
And it kind of reminded me of the old wagon trains, you know. And what a great old barn was in this. Hey, how about the hay drum? Hey, hey, hay drum. Fabulous, fabulous video and fantastic song. And I hope we can hear more from them. We only got one song from them. So I hope that Sugarline Blues sends us some more. Yeah. Told you there'd be different types of music tonight. And, uh, I'm going to move on to Sweet Sweet. Ooh, what a name, huh? Sweet Sweet. Well, South Carolina-based indie folk America duo. Jeremy Dunham and Carrie Gifford doubled down and dubbed themselves Sweet Sweet. And they did this to describe the fresh and inviting way they blend the elegance and mood of the cello. With the rustic roots of his acoustic guitar. How about that? A cello and acoustic guitar. Hmm. I'm telling you. Now those sounds combine with foot-driven percussion textures that range from gentle to raucous are the foundation behind the singer-songwriter's gorgeous lead in harmony vocals and simple yet emotionally hard-hitting songs filled with heartfelt tales and whimsical whimsical excuse me <laughs> southern charm now the two capture their intimate chemistry perfectly in the two word title their debut ep in tandem we're going to introduce you to two songs from sweet sweet and the first one is one that is called cellars and closets so let's see how sweet sweet they are this is a song called cellars and closets <laughs> In a room without doors, just a window in the floor, you will find me sitting there, breathing the quiet air in a closet with no light. But the meaning of your home You stole away all night I've been looking in the dark Frivolous 
I loved it, the guy that just walked in back of them, right in the middle of that, <laughs> while they're playing and everything. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> wow, that was, I can see why they're called uh, a sweet, sweet. That was very sweet. I don't, I'm ready to take another listen to this band, or I should say this duo, and I'm going to play one more song, and this is called To The Stars. Woo, are we going to visit the stars? Let's find out. I've been working, working on it every day. When the moon is burning, how am I going to make you stay till the morning when I close my eyes and drift to sleep? See, I've been smiling, never mind what they say. When the sun is shining, how am I going to make my way to the ocean? I kick off my shoes and I'm going to jump right in.
guitar and you come up with a sound like this <laughs> who could believe it you know and and the sounds that we're hearing tonight they're not your typical country or your typical blues or your typical rock they're a little bit mixed in and i i adore it and wow who would think huh so check out sweet sweet okay we're moving right along and as you look at sweet sweet a little bit more uh, i'm going to talk about the bear What's the bear? Well, it's actually the bunny and the bear. Or the bunny, the bear. TB, TB, the bunny, the bear. And there they are, the bear, the bunny. And I love, love, love whoever did the art on this. I mean, this is your typical Bugs Bunny, is it? Or your Yogi the bear. <laughs> a little bit more ferocious. But, you know, it was only a matter of time until a band came along that evoked the hair-prickling ecstasy that only daringly innovative musicians are able to successfully execute. Bursting out into the scene, and that was Buffalo, New York-based group, the Bunny the Bear has surrendered the mindset of commonality spearheading their fantastic interpretation of music into metal flavored rock inspired ethereal mayhem wow <laughs> how about that <laughs> so uh, the money the bear will continue touring across the u.s this summer and this fall they will be accompanying funeral for a friend and escape the fate on a uk tour beginning in october Great news, huh? I love to hear when bands start touring. Yeah. They tour the U.S.? Come on. Time to go further. So, um, right now, I think it's time that we hear a little bit from them. And we're going to play two songs. And this one that we're going to play right now is called It's Only Another Interlude. Well, I got to see what this is. <laughs> so you would get an idea that is an interlude and they said it's only another interlude <laughs> no I think it's a little bit more than just another interlude so I couldn't stop with that after hearing it and this one I'm going to play and they have tons of music I'm going to play, be playing some more of those on the show along with some of the other artists that we've had on today who have 
provided more music. But this one is called Fly Like a Bird. A little bit longer. Here you go. Okay, tell me that you've heard metal like that before. I don't think so. Because, as I said, it's only metal flavored. It goes much deeper. Rocks in there. Um, I feel theatrics also in their music. And I'm just wondering what they would be like, you know, to see live. I bet it's outstanding. This, wow. So hats off to the Bunny the Bears. <sighs> something different. Uh, the next artist that I'm introduce you to, and this is going to be our final song, is someone named Zale. Now, I couldn't find too much information, uh, and the main reason is there's more than one Zale, and I certainly don't want to give out the wrong information about Zale, but I certainly wanted to present the music. So, um, hey, if you're out there, contact us at It Matters Radio and let us have some more of your music and give us a little information about yourselves so we won't get you confused with someone else. Because we, you know, I found two and uh, couldn't find this particular song. So what I'm going to do right now, and please, if anybody out there knows this song and knows about this group, drop us a line at It Matters Radio. Uh, over on our Facebook page, which is called It Matters Radio, and let us know because it drives me crazy when I can't find the information that I need to present the artist. And you, I think you're going to love this song, and it is called Look at this. 
<laughs> Open up your eyes. Here we go with Zale. He points to the halo hanging three inches above her velvet hair. He pours a bottle of water on her seat. Days when she gets wet by a stance, he can tell she doesn't appreciate the arbitrary test. She wrings out her hair, takes off her dress, lies down in his filthy bed. She says, Open up. also but I wonder how many women out there have wanted to say that to someone hey open up your eyes I'm here right here and she said it well and Zale you are fantastic I wish you'd get some more music to us so we could share it with other people and uh, well that's all I can say I hope you enjoyed the music uh, as you know, Ion Indie Magazine, they find all genres and all types of artists from many, many places throughout the world. And a lot of them are in the U.S., but we also get many that aren't. 
And that's what we like about doing this show is we get to introduce you to music that you might not ever, ever hear unless you tune into the show. So I hope you'll come back again and join us. And we'll be having this same show on each Thursday in March. And then in April, we'll be featuring their April featured artists. Thank you, I and Indie Magazine. And thank you all for coming and joining us. And as I always say to all my friends here, you just my little chickadees, you must continue to rock on. (laughs) 